Thanks is inefficacious. Oh? That means you're terrible! <laughs> <laughs> You're watching a Fraser Focus. Statistics compiled indicate that heart disease is the second leading cause of death in Canada, affecting approximately 2.4 million adults in the country. I think the biggest uh, advancement in the last 30 years is the ability for us to help patients with coronary artery disease. That is patients who have blocked arteries to the heart and the technology uh, that we have is balloons and stents, which enables us to open up arteries, which prior to 30 years ago, the only way to treat was by surgery. Nowadays, cardiologists are able to open up arteries without have a patient having open heart surgery. In acute coronary syndrome, there is a blockage in the blood flow through the coronary arteries, usually due to an atherosclerotic plaque. If somebody collapses in front of you, you assume that it's a heart attack until you can prove otherwise. I was uh, riding my second Cops for Cancer tour. It's a 900 kilometer, nine day bike ride. Uh, had completed the ride without incident in 2014 and uh, felt like I was very ready to go for another tour. It's an amazing experience. And about two and a half hours into the uh, first day of my second Cops for Cancer tour, I uh, began feeling a little lightheaded, thought maybe I should talk to the paramedics, and very suddenly uh, the lights went out and I was in cardiac arrest. And just very fortunate to have an advanced life support paramedic uh, as a fellow fundraising rider on a bicycle beside me, two more paramedics in a vehicle behind. I don't know what the average is for someone to have a heart attack or for their heart to stop, but you said seven times. You know, probably four to six percent uh, survival chances under those circumstances. So wow. I know I'm very fortunate. You're beating the odds. I can do this. Okay, so now we need to check for consciousness and breathing. So the ACT Foundation is a national charitable foundation that is working with secondary schools across the country with the goal of helping set up free CPR and defibrillator training in every high school. So what you do is you check the air of the non-respondent unconscious person. You check the air if there's any air coming out of his mouth or nostrils. So, check their breathing right now, make sure. If we find out they're not breathing, we then Call 911, send for an AED. If you're on your own, you would call using your cell phone, just put it on on speaker. So call 911 and bring you an AED. The students who are future workers, they will be going into the workplaces. Not only at workplaces, but you know, during their uh, times with their families, with their friends, when they're playing out there. Uh, you the never faster. know when you, when you need those skills. Minutes and seconds can make a difference. You are a credit to this community, you're a great policeman and I think you take youth pills. In Jersey that was signed by all the people that were on the tour. I get to be in the community for another, uh, as long as I possibly can before, you know, age eventually catches up with us all and I'll <laughs> need to make another uh, career plan uh, when police retirement approaches at some point. But, you know, in the meantime, because people had CPR training, because people had um, excellent skills and abilities with an automated defibrillator and because of the staff of Royal Columbian Hospital. The Royal Columbian Hospital is the uh, tertiary care center for the Fraser Health and we have the busiest uh, cardiology program in all of BC. Every hour about 12 Canadian adults aged 20 and older who were diagnosed with heart disease die. So education is vital. You're watching a Fraser Focus. Stay with us.